Denver football team now coming home. The bus is just pulling into the U. We're waiting to hear. P.J. Fleck will talk to us. We're standing by live. Yes, the Axe coming back to Minnesota for the first time since 2003. And two other words, like I just told you, bowl eligible. That's right. The Gophers want to jump out quick, jump around, haha, <laughs> and take the lead. And they did. Already up 3 0 in the second. Mo Ibrahim giving the Gophers a 10 point lead here with a 10 yard run to pay dirt. Nice, Mo. Same quarter, it got even better. Badgers with the punts. And watch this. Demetrius Douglas here gets it, and he shakes and bakes. Takes it back 69 yards. Yes, you betcha. All the way in for the touchdown. 17 zip gophers. And before the half, though, yeah, okay. Alex Hornenbrook with the pass to Jake Ferguson for the touchdown for the Badgers, 17 7. But then the gophers add a field goal, and then they get great defense right here. Julian Huff would keep his eye on Hornenbrook and pick him off right there on the sideline. Ooh, they don't get the six off the turnover, but they do get the three. Emmett Carpenter with the field goal. Gophers up 23-7 at this point. And then, after the Gophers force a fumble, Bryce Williams makes Bucky pay because of that mistake. Taking it in for the 23-yard touchdown, he also would add another touchdown after that. That's a take that. The Axe is coming back to Minnesota for the first time, like I said, since 2003. Gophers win 37-15. Our own photojournalist Nate Zinnel is on hand in Madison and caught up with the victorious Gophers. You know, we won the turnover margin. I thought we tackled really well. And the explosive plays, I think we won. We're 6-0 when we do that. We're 0-6 when we don't. And they did exactly what they needed to do, manage the game when they needed to manage it. These, this is why you coach. These are moments and memories you'll remember forever. They're not going to remember what we did on third and two and what inside zone play we ran or what fourth down we converted. They're going to remember that locker room. They're going to remember that field. They're going to remember running to get the ax. Seeing it growing up, seeing lots of games. Um, and it just means a lot. You know, I was trying, I kind of got a little emotional at the end when I realized like, this, is, this is really going to happen for us. Just to be a part of a game that can flip the script in history and help our program get to where it needs to go, it, it means absolutely everything. I'm just so proud of our teammates, the seniors, uh, all the adversity that we've been through. And for those guys, uh, that moment is just something I'll never forget in my entire life. I got really emotional. Um, probably almost cried, I don't know. But it's just, it, it's just such, an, uh, such a surreal experience. That's how we do it! Like, actually doing it was so much cooler than, than it was in my mind. Um, it was, to be honest, it was almost surreal. And <clears throat> went up and got to hug my dad right afterwards. And I mean, you know, looking around, my roommates, my brothers, the rest of the team, like it's just, it's crazy being able to go do that next to dudes that I would, I would die for. <laughs> Gotta love that. And those dudes are right here live getting off the bus. They're going into Athletes Village. And let me tell you, this is just starting. You can see the axe right there. PJ Fleck will speak to the media. Obviously, we have a crew there. Our own Pierre Nugent hustling over from the Timberwolves. He will talk to him. So if we don't get to him tonight, please stay tuned here on Fox at 9. We'll have it in the morning. Just a great feel good afternoon and evening for the dudes as the gophers are victorious bringing that axe back in style congratulations you guys oh just